Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 96. One of my favorite movies is Minority Report because I like the idea of interacting with media using the motion of my hands. We're starting to see more and more motion sensing technology come to fruition every day. The latest is a speaker and radio from a company called Question Mark. Rather than knobs and buttons, changing volume and navigation radio stations is all done with the motion of a hand. It should be released this week and according to Gizmodo, will sell for about $100. Arco's handheld digital media players tend to be nicely designed and fun to use. And now the new one, the 604, has Wi-Fi, 802.11g. It'll play almost every audio and video format and will stream content from a network-connected computer, PC, or Mac. The touchscreen display is 4.3 inches and bright. The player also acts as a bridge that will allow you to stream media from a computer to a TV. A digital video recorder add-on gives you the ability to record TV and store it on your computer. I'm looking forward to a widescreen video iPod, but I can't can't imagine it'll have all the features this player has. The hard drive is 30 gigabytes, and oh my gosh, I want one. Living in a loft isn't for everyone, especially since most lofts only have windows on one wall. There tends to be a bright end and a dark end. New flat light panels from Sea Light might just be the answer for all those dark spaces in our lives. The light emitting capacitor panels bend and come in various sizes. I think it would be nice to hang one on a wall behind some drapes to give the illusion of a window where there is no window. As an added bonus, the lights consume less electricity than fluorescent or neon bulbs. The panels are programmable, allowing you to control the brightness. Justin Long, the I'm a Mac guy from the popular I'm a Mac, I'm a PC commercial series, will no longer be the Mac. John Hodgman will continue to be the PC. The problem, it seems, is that people found the Mac guy less likable than the PC guy. I didn't, but I'm sometimes guilty of the whole snooty Mac user thing. Sorry about that. At first I was sad, but then I thought about it. Macs get upgraded and redesigned all the time, so it's not all that bad that the Mac guy will change. However, I would like Apple to consider a change to a Mac girl. I'm a Mac. I'm a PC. <laughs> no, actually. You're not. No, you're not. <laughs> Apple! I'm not sure which people make up the satellite phone market, but I'm guessing military guys are included in that group. Geek Brief has a lot of viewers serving in Iraq. Booyah! Although, I don't think military guys do it with the spirit fingers. We're really proud of you guys serving over there, so I'm hoping this is news you can use. Global Star announced the smallest satellite phone so far. It's the GSP-1700, and it's 43% smaller by volume. It also has an EVDO modem delivering broadband to wherever you may be. All the better for downloading Geek Brief from Iraq. Steve Dunn went to three different stores trying to find Splenda Flavor Blends and had no luck. If you can't find Flavor Blends at your local store, let me know. Don't forget you can also get them from Amazon.com. A link is in the show notes at geekbrief.tv. I'm Callie Lewis, your fearless leader. Woohoo! <laughs>